story guys how real working man cook series here I got some bone and pork chops I bought at the market there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse them off good and then I'll take some shake and bake and I'll put some seasoning mix with the shake and bake and we'll get these things and we'll bake these these uh, pork chops gonna be good and I got this yucca and uh, it's frozen yucca basically it's it's like a potato what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to boil it till it gets translucent then take it out and then we'll, we'll slice it up and we'll put a little bit of I got some oil here that I had saved we'll put a little bit in a fry pan and we'll brown these up um, it's kind of a Spanish dish actually it was a Colombian friend of mine that uh, his wife used to make this all the time he was they were Colombian and they used to make this yucca, and it's really good. So to try to, I'll try to build the meal, get you some shots, and I got some little green, French green onions we could have for vegetables. And uh, I'm sure it's going to be good. It's nothing like a nice, nice pork chop with shake and bake seasoning. So I'll try to bring you guys along like I usually do with with the meal, and see if we can build it here. All right, guys, I like to take the pan, put aluminum foil down. I get the white aluminum foil. I'll spray it so it don't stick. Pork chops don't stick on there. Yeah, guys, so I rinsed off this stuff really good under the water. Rinsed off the pork really good. Because it can get a little slimy. What I'm going to do is I'll, I'll mix it with that shake and bake in the bag. Then what we'll do is I get this all prepped here. I got this sprayed down. We'll get that on there and we'll actually put some more seasoning on there. See if I get you some shots. Alright guys, so I put it in a one gallon bag to make it a little bit easier to, to maneuver the shake and bake around, but because the, the shake and bake bags are a little bit these these are kind of nice big pork chops, so you see how it's done. That's a big pork chop, man. So obviously them are big pork chops, so nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna put some pepper on there. I like my pork, you know, well done, so we'll cook it for a while. Put some garlic powder on there. Oregano seasoning. Kind of kicking it up a little bit. Make it four twenty five, it tells you. All right, guys, we'll put the pork in there, let that chew for a while. That cook for a little while, then we'll start on the other stuff. And we'll start on this yucca. I'll show you how to how to make this stuff in a little bit. I'll let that. I'm gonna let that pork cook for a little while. All right, guys. I got a pan of water here. And this is this is frozen yucca. So what I'm gonna do is open up this bag. It's it's a root vegetable. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some in there and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to boil that stuff till it gets like translucent. And then we'll cut them up. I'll show you how to do it. And what I'll do with that is I'll put a little bit of a little bit of olive oil in there so the stuff won't boil over. Like that. go we're gonna let that go to it kind of gets translucent so I can cut it up in the meantime the pork's cooking in there put my fan on put it on low so I don't drown you guys out but we'll be back I'll get back in touch with you in a little bit 
She's choochin' mama. Let it go for a little bit. They said that stuff was frozen, so we gotta soften it up. I'll show you how I cut it up. Here she is, the star of the show. Here she is, the star of the show. Mrs. Baby, the doggy. Alright guys, you can see that the fork goes right through it easy, see it? So that's good. That's all I need. Shut it off and we'll drain it. I'll cut it up and I'll show you how to do it. Alright guys, I got the yucca here. What I do is I, I boiled up the yucca and I got it and I, I cut it all into sections here. Um, I took all the, this is like on the inside. You gotta cut all that out. I got all that out of there. What we're gonna do is, um, there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can put it in the pan, deep fry it, or you can put a little oil in this pan and, and rotate them. That's probably what I'll do. That's the way the lady used to do it, uh, the Colombian lady. We'll get some oil in there. And get that oil hot. That's oil that I had saved from another another job. You don't need all to have all that much. Once we get it hot in there, I'll, I'll throw some pieces in there and we'll rotate them. And get myself a cold beer. You can check it and see what the temperature is of that too if you want it. It was 185. Okay. You want to get it about 350. Alright, I got my little thing set at 350, so I'm good with that. I'll get a paper plate, you know, with a uh, paper towel on there so we can, when we're done, we could um, drain them off. You want to get them, you know, cook them the way you want. I kind of like them golden brown a little bit. You can see. Cook them to the way you like them. And that's good right there. Got a paper plate right here. Let's... Let's do I'll do is I'll hit these with the salt as soon as I get them out of here. Sea salt's not bad for you. Regular salt is, but sea salt, sea salt's not bad for you. Yeah, mama, she's choochin', mama. Let me get them. Let me get them nice and crispy. I like my my pork chops crispy. This is looking good. Hit it with salt. This is this is a lot better than a French fry. If you guys ever try this, you can, you're gonna like it. Yum. Alright, we're cooked in there. See, we're flying. 180 is good. I like them a little bit on the crispy side, so. 
All right, guys, let that cool off, and uh, we'll get a plate together. I want the um, the green beans, and we'll be ready to rock and roll, man. Yum, baby. I'm sure you do. Yeah, we got the yucca here. This is like a French fry. Really good, man. I got some green beans, and I got a nice pork chop. I like my pork chops a little bit crispy. Um, I'm going to cook the pork chops the way you like them. I like them like that. Let's see if we give this stuff a taste test. Fried yucca. This is ten times better than a potato. Than a french fry. You guys got to try this, fried yucca. It's really good. Yum. See if I get a bite. Let's see if I get a bite on this, guys. Yum. Come on, big pork chops, man. I had to cut them up. Green beans. How real work, man, cook mama. This is really good. I love this yucca. I really like this yucca. Yum. Who's waiting for her piece? All right, guys. Good meal here. I got four, more for tomorrow. So I real work, man. Cook, mama. Yum.